campers, how the devil are you? You catch me on a fine, gloriously blue skied, crisp winter's day in December and currently in a little place called Tintwist. So got the train to Hadfield, walk down the, into the valley, the uh, Ethero Valley and then back out again towards Tintwistle up the steep hill. I don't know how far I'll get today. Um, on a nice little cobbled path at the moment. Um, Not sure how far I'll get on my penciled in uh, destination, which today is Staley Bridge. Um, it could involve too much climbing and, and descending, or it could be a, too long a distance, um, especially considering the very short days that we have at the moment. But anyway, I'm enjoying just being out in this glorious, hazy, wintry day how could you not enjoy that Nice to see a variety of different cows, different breeds. Got Friesians obviously with the black and white patchy markings, but looks like a brown Friesian there. Is that just a, a hybrid? If that's the right word. Some brown ones and black ones, solid colour over there. I can't see any others, so I'm guessing that these are uh, beef and uh, mounting each other over there. Gay cows. Always fascinates me these uh, these little lanes. That, I mean, obviously you could get road vehicles up here if you wanted to, but certainly farm vehicles. But the the size of the lane and the fact that um, there's a lot of livestock grazing, um, sheep and cattle, on these nearby farms in the Pennines. It's too too. Uh, too much gradient for crops in most places I guess and uh, these ancient dry stone walls must have been here for decades if not centuries and uh, these little lanes like this just makes me think of shepherds in days gone by droving flocks of sheep from one place to another I'm glad I came out today. Um, I wasn't going to, I've got quite a lot of stuff to do at home, you know, like wrapping presents and stuff. It's 17th of December now, I think, 21. And uh, I've got to send cards, wrap presents, get myself generally ready for traveling over to Lincolnshire to see my mum for Christmas next week, um, just for a couple of days. Um, transport permitting of course but I'm glad that I came out reasonably early today made the most of this glorious weather and uh, I'm enjoying every second of it fork in the path here um, I'm not going to take the one that goes up continues over there because this is the direction that I'm aiming for. Um, on the Trans Pennine Bridleway, Bridleway at the moment, um, which is good, it means that it's a fairly substantial route uh, for horses and stuff. 
and um, let's see where it leads us. Nice to be exploring pastures new. Hello again. Look at that valley I've just stumbled across. I didn't even realize. Um, beautiful colors, which I always go on about, I know, but the, the, uh, the, the stand of fir trees there that, that obviously act as some kind of wind, wind break for the farmer, or maybe it's a uh, pheasant shooting territory. And this, uh, the, the colors are just amazing. You know, the sky at this time of year with, with the low sun, uh, the amazing range of blues that you've got with tinges of purple and those ominous looking clouds over there that could just burst at any moment and then as you cast your eyes down through the valley and the the greens and the browns and the yellows and the beiges all sort of mingle into some sort of uniform order and that, it's a fair old steep drop down there so um, I'm going to follow the path around in this uh, steep U-bend because um, I don't want to come a cropper. It does seem like it's more of a remote path. I've not seen, uh, I've seen two people so far. So, you know, I don't want to go breaking my leg or anything stupid. Touch wood. Can't find any wood. Touch head. Following me? Oi! You! You! Enjoying the scenery, and uh, it's been a lot of uphill to be honest with you. Quite squishy underfoot as well, so uh, not really been doing many uh, talking to camera stuff. Um, but it looks like I'm almost at the top of the hill now, and uh, glorious scenery. It's so nice to see fresh places, you know. Um, uh, the Pennines all do look, you know, the, the, the landscape is all very similar. Um, but it's, it's the intricacies of the colours and the textures of the landscape and you know where's the past going to go next it's all that sort of um, anticipation of what's to come and uh, wondering how far you've come wondering how far you've got to go uh, it's just great to be out guys and if you're stuck at home watching daytime TV just think about Jumping on the train, it cost me about seven quid, 35 minutes, and there I am in the middle of nowhere. I've seen three people now so far. They've all said hello. Oh, glorious. So I've reached Junction Public Footpath. I've just come from uh, 
from this one, uh, Pennine Bridal Way to Tintwistle, two miles than I've come, is that all? Um, and to Brushes Valley this way, mile and a quarter. Let's see where it takes me. You can see some kind of reservoir down here. Uh, the Pennines really are full of um, reservoirs. They've made the most of every every valley, it seems, or um, at least down to you know, something along the rivers and across the other side as well. Yeah, so after a quick uh, bit of research, I um, found that the the one on the left of the screen that you can see there is the higher Swineshaw Reservoir. Um, I wonder if it was the River Swineshaw. I'll have to check and put it on the screen that they've dammed to make it. Um, I don't think it looks like a, a natural lake. And then it drops down behind me, behind my head there on my right, um, to the lower Swine Shore Reservoir. So, interesting to find out these things. And uh, it's a good job because Manchester's a huge city. Um, <coughs> lots of people live there and they all need water. So as I come down past the, the lower of the two reservoirs and start cutting down into the valley, some interesting rock formations over there. Nice colours. Almost reminds me of a cowboy film. And then, just as you round the bend, and I'm not sure that this will be picked up on the camera, but look at that through there. Amazing view down into the distance into the uh, Manchester Plain and you can just about in the distance see all the the tower blocks of the city centre amazing I just um, came off the track for uh, a brief second just to, um, well, nature call basically. And uh, after doing that, I noticed this lovely little lichen, I presume it is, growing amongst the moss here. I'll have to uh, check that out when I get home because there's no connection for Google Lens to work. And the interesting thing about it is what's it growing on? Well, as you can see here, it's some kind of kind of narrow gauge track. Just a single one. I can't see the other side of it. And it disappears over there. And what's interesting down here is, can you see through the trees? There's like big concrete platforms, very old. Um, so maybe there was a bridge here with some kind of miners track or even railway on it here you can see it in a bit more detail um, big plinth there and then another plinth there and then another one and then it seems to disappear across the road um, so who knows was it a uh, some kind of mining track perhaps where it then offloaded onto the road below I can't see it being a bridge across the reservoir so almost down at the uh, third reservoir that I've come across at least today uh, this is known as Brushes Brushes Reservoir and apparently according to my map it then descends again into something called Walkerwood Reservoir so we'll probably see that in a bit always remember guys as well if you're uh, eating non-native fruits on your walks on your travels for instance citrus fruits and bananas that the skins the peel or the skins uh, do not naturally biodegrade so don't just chuck them to the side of the road save them put them in your bag and dispose them of them correctly 
because there's just not the bacteria in the soil to, you know, naturally occurring to um, decompose these things and uh, send them back to nature as quickly as, you know, you would expect. So this is where my journey through the, over the tops of the hills and back down through the valleys to the reservoirs and alongside them comes to an end. Um, and the reservoir dam system comes to an end as well. Uh, and this very, very steep drop down there to where the river will actually continue. You can just see it or hear it in the distance there. Um, whichever river it is, and I'll, hopefully I'll be able to find out what, what it used to be, it continues all the way over there, down through Staley Bridge Country Park and into Staley Bridge itself. Haven't been there for a long time, I'm looking forward to it. Finally made it to the outskirts of Staley Bridge, uh, look at the uh, sun just setting over onto the hills, smokestack there showing you just how uh, industrial this place used to be. Maybe this is the river that uh, was fed from the reservoir. Which one is it? Do you know? I do, but only because I cheated. The river time. It's at this point in uh, Staley Vegas, as it's uh, affectionately known, that I recognise this building by the side of the river tame, tame. And I'm sure I had like a, an illegal rave there, it used to be a pub. I'll have to check on the map. Um, looks like it's now been converted into apartments though. Or is it a, an accountant's? Or both maybe? Certainly to let Riverside House. It certainly has a chintzy, higgledy piggledy charm. Is that the right word? No, I don't think it is. I've never really felt attracted to this place. Bits and bobs of things all over the place. Cheap shops, cheap supermarkets, hairdressing places. It's really spread out the town as well. It's um, you know, over several streets. Just not the sort of place I'd like to live. And back in the day, I used to come here for some uh, dubious reasons, and uh, I never liked it even back then. And it's been a little bit gentrified since then. Mm, don't feel safe. I wouldn't be feel safe late at night here, certainly. I remember where the train station is now get the hell out of here so on the train platform at Staley Bridge say goodbye to that little town over there weird little place look at the cloud hanging around at the top of that hill there I was very lucky today just clinging to that hill I think I'm right in saying there's a Little bar at Staley Bridge train station, one of the one of many on train stations, uh, where people do a tour sometimes. But anyway, not time to go there today, even if it is uh, open or not. I don't know. Um, so yeah, goodbye, Staley, and uh, that was interesting. A new journey from Hadfield to Staley Bridge, connecting two more places that I know fairly well and uh, plenty more walks to, to be had in the future I'm sure um, as we say goodbye and the sun slowly sets on another beautiful day. Mm -hmm.